What's up everyone? So about nine months ago I sat down and recorded my first ever YouTube video in front of a battered old wardrobe and I swore I was going to turn it into a game room. I've probably been talking about every odd video ever since but today it's finally here. Okay, so welcome in everyone. It's not 100% there, but I'm pretty happy with how it's all set up at the moment. We've sort of got a mix of organised and chaotic, which sums me up pretty well. Uh, with a few other little tweaks to make, um, but I've been stuck inside for the last seven days, but you know what, I can't really go anywhere for a few more days, so I haven't been able to get out game hunting, so I just thought it'd be a good time as any uh, to try and get a few little you know, final bits done here and just do a quick update on how it's looking. Uh, so we'll just start over in the corner. Uh, this is where I'm going to have basically any HDMI consoles hooked up. Uh, PS4 is running there at the moment, so we're going to throw uh, a PS3 and uh, a 360 in there as well. Uh, so that'll be a nice little corner to have. Uh, going from probably more modern to completely old school, but in the last video I don't think I showed these Commodore 64 games, they're sort of tucked away at the back. Uh, but these all came down out of the attic bar, maybe two or three that I think I picked up from the retro gaming store. Uh, PS1 stuff just came out of a box in the shed. Um, I, the only thing I don't have is the power cable, I'm kind of just using like a general AC one at the moment. Um, but yeah, nothing mad in the games. Uh, there's a Crash Bandicoot there sealed, which is pretty cool. Uh, that Wii came out of the very first video as well, that was the one I got for free. Um, so yeah, controllers, I don't know, a lot of people have some really creative solutions to these. I've seen uh, GSG and a few guys that have, um, you know, those shoe holders they hang off the back of the door. I just have these, like I'm a sucker anytime I'm in like Aldi or Lidl and they have like the selling things like these hooks and little packs of things, I pick them up so I just said I'd screw them and hand them off, they're not the best looking but they're actually just pretty handy to, you know, you can just go and grab one and not have a play or something. So this will be where the Nintendo consoles are set up. So we've got our SNES, N64, GameCube and Wii, uh, these are all hooked up to this telly through this, um, it's like an RCA switcher box, uh, I'm not sure how many people have them, this thing is just... I'd recommend it to anyone, it's so handy. Uh, before, it was literally pulling the telly out, and, like pulling cables out and switching things around. Oh, nearly lost the controller there. <laughs> we better take that off in case that falls down. But yeah, it's like it's so handy, like you can literally just run all the consoles through at the same time. So that'll be the SNES, uh, the N64, the GameCube, and then the Wii. So just, yeah, really handy, say it's messing around with all those leads. Um, so just above that is where I keep all the SNES games and stuff like that. I'm not going to go pulling figures down. Uh, we've got about 20 of them in total. Not the biggest SNES collection, but we've got some good games in there. Uh, if the balls are written down for reference, what we have. But I don't really have another solution at the moment for displaying them. Again, I've seen guys do some really creative things with like, you know, tiered displays and stuff like that. So I'm constantly looking out for little bits and pieces like that. Uh, but for now, look, they're just sitting there. They're handy. We can just pull them down whenever we want to play something out of there. Uh, up here we have the box Sega Saturn and a few games. That's one that I did mention in the last Game Room Tour. Uh, I won that in a raffle basically. Uh, that and the N64. Where's the N64 box? It's buried in the Zelda pile there. I uh, won them and a few box games in like an online raffle which was pretty class. I don't really I don't really win things like that too often. I haven't really won anything since but uh, we do keep trying because you never know. Um, not really a big toy person. This was a box in the attic that just still had a few power engines in it, so I just thought I'd like lay them out. They look pretty cool in the game room. Uh, like everyone else, I had boxes and boxes of like Star Wars, Ghostbusters, Turtles. They all just disappeared over the years, unfortunately. That's pretty much all that's left of my childhood toys, but sure, what can you do? Um, moving across then, uh, just this top shelf here is sort of like an overflow of Switch and Zelda stuff. Uh, these two shelves here are a bit indulgent. I basically was messing around with pictures on Instagram one night. I was sort of putting a little Mario collection together and a little Zelda collection together. Just to get a few pictures and that. Um, but I just like the way it looks. Like it's a little bit kind of a bit mad. Like God forbid you should try and reach in and grab something from here. It's like a house of cards. Everything will just <laughs> fall in a flash. Uh, but I think it looks pretty cool. Like it's just a nice thing to have in the game room. You know, a nice little display area. We still have a few empty spaces on the bottom to do things with. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything mad in here that, since the last one. We picked up that Majora's Mask uh, first for figures. I don't have it plugged in at the moment. That lights up and all. It's pretty cool. Uh, the Zelda game I watch was a Christmas present from Santi, uh, which is really cool. The rest of the stuff, yeah, is in there. Probably Majora's Ma or sorry, Minish Cap, probably the most expensive thing that I have in the collection at the moment. Uh, last I checked, that was going for, well, at one stage it was going for 200. I think it's down for about 150, 160. 
Uh, but that's just a complete one that I picked up years ago, probably 15 years ago in GameStop. It was just in one of those, you know, sort of bargain buckets for a fiver. I'd never played it before and I had the DS at the time, so I just said I'd throw it in. That's gonna go, here we go. Okay, didn't collapse. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's a really cool one to have. A few other main titles there. Uh, and then in the little Mario section there, we have a few cool figures. Like this lad here, we picked up for two euro in a charity shop. Uh, the actual Mario Kart itself came with no remote control, but that was a fiver. So just good little uh, display pieces to have. And a few nice completing box games as well there. So then moving on to, I suppose, the game games. Uh, I'll just pan across it. Now I just want you to bear in mind, like about 75%, 80% of this is stuff that I didn't have this time last year. It's all pretty much stuff that I've picked up. Uh, in charity shops for a year or two online we've got a few good deals uh, I have an entire playlist of video game hunting so if you want to go back and see the oranges, origins of some of these games uh, please do go and have a look um, but up on the top shelf here this is all I had no PS2 stuff before I started game hunting so this is all stuff I picked up in the last nine months uh, heavy hitters obviously that's Silent Hill 2 that came out of the very first charity shop that I went game hunting in uh, with my phone looking for stuff and we picked that up for one euro so that was pretty class uh, Resident Evil 4 beside it is in the most recent video that we picked up for 2 euro, that's the Steelbook edition, so that's pretty class as well. Uh, but yeah, we've got some nice titles in here, like nothing absolutely mental outside of those. A couple of sly titles, Time Crisis, which is class. Uh, still need to try and get a light gun to play that though. Um, again, PS3, we have no PS3 stuff before we started this, so we've got like, again, nothing absolutely mad, but some nice titles and a few good ones there to, to play on a rainy day. PS4, I probably had, I don't know, one... Two, three, four. I probably had about seven or eight PS4 games um, and the PS4 before we started collection. So only recently been finding a few of these in charity shops. Generally, they're coming in at about five euro. So that's pretty cool. We're not really paying too much for those, and we are kind of finding traders and stuff like that to cover the cost of a lot of it. So again, if you want to see how I build a collection, go check out the the live video game hunting playlist. Uh, outside of that, just a small handful of original Xbox. These all come out of one uh, one shop. I think I was down, I was in Killarney uh, for a little trip, myself and Mrs. Retro Games Ireland, I went into a charity shop and just seen them sitting in a box there. I haven't really seen much original Xbox stuff outside of that, one or two things that I traded off back in the day, um, but obviously we've, we've got the collecting book now so nothing gets traded out unless it's something that I already have. 360, uh, I had a 360 back in the day, a couple of these games I've picked up, uh, nothing, nothing here, I'd, well I had Assassin's Creed but nothing else there I've played. Uh, the original Gears of War i played and I think I had Left 4 Dead 1, I don't, didn't have Left 4 Dead 2, so everything here is stuff I haven't played, so that's all stuff I need to catch up on, on the 360. GameCube stuff, there's nothing mad, most of the, you know, sort of the main title GameCube stuff is in here, we've got our Zeldas and stuff, uh, Mario Kart is down here somewhere, there it is at the back. Uh, so a few little titles there that we picked up, uh, again, Final Fantasy we had already, Metroid, and uh, the two Star Wars, Tiger Woods, they're all games that I already had, along with this random sealed uh, memory card that actually came out of a box in the shed I think that was in with the PS1 stuff which was really random but the GameCube and the few games uh, that's the only real old console that survived by the PS1 the rest of them are all just ones that I give away to people because I wasn't playing you know just to like nieces and nephews or whatever but we get them all back eventually uh, outside of that then it's just uh, it's just Wii stuff again any sort of decent Wii stuff is probably on display over here between the Mario and Zeldas uh, but we'll do a little pan down just so people can see what's in there a lot of stuff that i've never even played so we've kind of been catching up on a few of them sorry there's a couple of monkey shells there that i never got around to painting uh, a few random switch titles at the end there but yeah a lot of them i haven't really gotten around to playing yet like i've, I've picked away at a few of them over the last week since i got back into the game room here um i'm sort of still tempted to kind of figure out how to set up you know just uh, a bit of streaming or something like that and maybe play them and react to them live so that's something people are interested in let me know um, outside of that, am I forgetting anything? Oh yeah, this Mortal Kombat banner. This is something that, it's absolutely class. Uh, a brother of mine worked in HMV back in the day and used to come home with all sorts of displays. We've got the Star Wars trilogy one here as well. It's being guarded by Ted. Uh, but this was from 1994. So it was when they remastered the original trilogy and re-released that on VHS. Uh, so that's something that came out of the store. It's not in the best of condition, but Again, this is just something I pulled out from under the stairs a few years ago. I completely forgot we even had it in the house. Uh, the Mortal Kombat thing was rolled up in a wardrobe somewhere. It's not perfect. It's got a bit of scuffing there, but I don't know. I think that's a pretty rare 
it's a pretty rare thing. If anyone knows anything about it, maybe let me know. But it's uh, it's been loved over the years. It's hung in a few bedrooms and stuff like that, and it's kind of just temporary at the moment. But I'm just kind of threw it up to high, but I was doing all my paint samples, but I didn't really do a very good job of that. Um, but yeah, there's nothing else really major. This is just the mish mishmash drawer that I talk about. Where I've got a lot of empty case stuff, uh, a couple of pops that I probably picked up to sell and haven't really gotten around to yet, and then just some loose disc games and stuff like that. These are just when I, you know, I tend not to pick up loose disc stuff, but a lot of the time I'm picking up cases and the wrong games and stuff are in them if I'm not checking on, you know, at the time, or the odd time we get a few bonus discs and stuff like that inside, so. I don't know, we might sell them off or trade them at one stage, we might hold out and see if we can get cases and stuff, but uh, I don't know, if there's anything in there people need to complete, like an empty box or something like that, just let us know and I'll send it off to you. Yeah, so that's it, just a very quick blink and you'll miss it, sort of update on where the game room is now. Uh, I've been threatening to do it for so long, so, so I better just finally get around to it, and this was the perfect time. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I can't really talk for much longer. Uh, that COVID was pretty handy for me. I didn't really get too many symptoms, but one thing it did affect was my throat, so I'm conscious of the fact that that's going to go now. You can probably hear it getting all creaky and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, like if there's anything that you want to see a bit closer, a bit more in depth, let us know in the comments. Um, I've been trying to put a few sort of like little pictures up from Instagram and stuff like that, so any little changes that I do make, you'll probably see on there, and you'll probably see them during pickup videos and stuff. So yeah, as I said, I'm locked in for another few days, but hopefully by the end of the week we can get back out, get some game hunting done. I actually have like a quick preview there, stuff that we picked up the last time we managed to get out, so we'll have that to show, plus whatever else we find. And yeah, in the meantime, that's it, that's the game room. Uh, so thanks for watching, thanks for sticking around to the end, and uh, we'll see you again real soon, alright? Cheers.